Adventures of an American Eagle by Henry Livingston. In bleak Potosi's inmost cells, where everlasting chaos dwells, small rills of mercury abound, meandering through the deep profound. These rills, by kindred atoms joined, by lapse of time, grow more refined. Internal heat then adds its power, till what was fluid flows no more, and the result is golden ore. Such once I was, and haply lay, nor knew, nor wished for light or day. A capac rose, a capac fell, a thousand fathoms o'er my cell, and to my dismal dark recess in Spanish thunder could not press. At length discordant sounds arose to fright me from my long repose. I saw the light, the human face, and man usurped my native place. Born from the mine far, far away, a mass of kindred oars we lay. But stay not long, fierce chemic fire, bid every drossy part retire, till at the forceful last essay a splendid ingot fair I lay. Commerce now joined me to its store, and o'er the foaming ocean bore safely within the mint was flung where other changes o'er me hung. The die and the terrific screw another form around me threw. I rose an eagle fresh and new. A congress sage of aspect grave, not overwise nor quite a knave, received me in the shape of pay, the stipend of a single day, and bore me to the south away. Here I was bounced and urged through adventures rare as well as new. A man of rice through one whole day, controlled with undisturbed sway. But ere the dawn of morrow's light, he vanished from his purse and sight. From rice to cotton I was flung, then in a reticule was hung. My mistress was all smirk, all smile, and bore my jingling well a while. Then in a fit of finery lost me, and to a canton crape man tossed me. He grinned as he received the treasure, and dropped me in his till at leisure. Here I lay slumbering out of sight two long, long days and one short night. The sheriff came with stern fifa and bore me from the till away. How I came there I scarcely know, or right or wrong, t'was truly so. I found myself with lottery weight, who long had whirled the wheel of fate. A paltry prize a carman drew, and in his leather pouch I flew, but ere he sought his crib of rest, a grocer housed me in his nest. Dandy and bells by turn caressed me, and feds and tails by fits possessed me. I'm worn a little, I must own, and my first blush of brightness gone, a little too decreased in weight, but what is left is sterling plate. Though clipped and sweated, worn and old, my latest atom will be gold. One little word of moral o'er, and then we part to beat no more. Pursue me, reader, if you please, with moistened brow or yawn of ease. Urge on the chase, or slow or keen, keep conscience clear and fingers clean. The golden calf of Moab's plain was Israel's sin and Israel's shame, till wiser Moses made them quaff their recent god, the molten calf.